Hello, I am Kevin Hensel. I am here with State Representative Josh Shapiro. He's leading a fight in the legislature to ban a practice many of us are concerned about, and that is people talking on their handheld cell phones while driving. Thanks for being here. Tell us what recently happened in the House. There was a big vote, I know. Yeah, Kevin, it was a big vote, and it was a culmination of about five years of our efforts um, to try and do this, and that is specifically banning the use of handheld cell phones and texting while driving. Uh, we all know the dangers. Mm -hmm. uh, I think every Pennsylvanian's been there. They've seen someone swerving in traffic or they've seen someone driving uh, errantly and then they kind of pull up alongside them and realize they were talking on their phone or they were texting. The House, uh, by an overwhelming vote, by an overwhelming vote, 189 to 6. And as you know, <laughs> very little happens bipartisan here uh, nowadays. This was a bipartisan vote to ban handheld cell phones and texting while driving. I'm just very, very proud of our efforts. It's going to make our roadways in Pennsylvania safer. We know polls show a lot of people are concerned about this. A lot of people support what you're doing. Why is it so important to get people not to use their handheld cell phones while driving? Kevin, okay, I mean, it's about saving lives. Let me just back up to your question. The public gets this, mm -hmm. uh, and now the legislature, at least in the House, uh, gets it as well. Eighty five percent of uh, respondents to a poll uh, conducted of Pennsylvania, uh, Pennsylvania electorate said that they support a handheld cell phone ban. Eighty-five percent. There are very few issues that galvanize people true. as that does. The fundamental reason we've got to get this done and have the Senate uh, take it up and pass it quickly and get it to the governor is it's going to save lives. You know, cell phone use, particularly handheld cell phone use and texting, is the number one non-road related distraction mm -hmm. for a driver. Um, and furthermore, we know from many studies, including one uh, that came out about a year and a half ago, uh, California Institute of Public Policy study, that said in the states that have a handheld cell phone ban, which is seven states, including the District of Columbia, um, they have seen a 9 to 21 percent drop in fatalities uh, on their roadways. That, that would be nearly 300 lives being saved in Pennsylvania if we have a handheld ban. This just makes good sense uh, for us to get this done. So it's a matter of, A, sort of meeting what the public wants, but B, most importantly, saving lives here in Pennsylvania. Well, certainly if people are still doing it, and the law has not been passed yet, if people are still doing it, hopefully they'll stop until this is passed. But we know it passed the House overwhelmingly, which is, is hard to do. What happens now? Well, it's interesting in your question, you know, uh, it, hopefully people just in hearing about this, yeah. in seeing this YouTube video, in, in reading the articles in the paper, of which there have been many on, on this topic, um, that the education process alone will make a driver put down their cell phone or put on a Bluetooth or some other kind of headset. But technically speaking, you know, we passed the bill 189 to 6. It goes over to the state Senate. And, you know, I think it's going to be very, very hard for state senators to walk back on the progress that we made, uh, to walk away from the 85 percent of the public that wants to see this happen, to walk away from the scientific evidence that demonstrates that passing a bill like this will save lives in Pennsylvania. And so uh, if I were a senator, I'd be very, very careful uh, about walking this back in, in any way, shape, or form. Certainly they have the right to put their mark on it. Certainly they have the right to consider it, and I, and I hope they will and hope they will do so uh, quickly. Uh, but ultimately I hope they'll pass a bill, uh, either this one or something very, very similar to this, and we can get it to the governor's desk quickly. The sooner we get this to the governor's desk, the sooner he can sign this bill into law, and he said that he would, uh, the sooner we can begin saving lives on Pennsylvania's roads. Well, as you mentioned, this is on YouTube. People on YouTube are probably pretty tech savvy. Let's clarify for everyone just quickly what would be banned by, from this bill and what would not be. Sure. Uh, if you were a driver, you couldn't text and you couldn't talk on a handheld cell phone. Um, you couldn't use a laptop computer, uh, for example. Uh, you could continue to carry on a conversation uh, if you had a headset or used a speakerphone, and you would be able to dial a call or initiate a phone call. That's about it. And for teen drivers, it would be a total ban. Uh, no talking at all and no texting. Well, it's certainly an important issue. We've talked about it before. We'll update everyone again. We want to say thank you to State Representative Josh Shapiro for fighting for us on our roads and for updating all of us on this bill. Thank you, Kevin.